discussed generation of heat domes. Uh, give examples from regions which have witnessed heat domes recently. Okay. Discuss the generation. Discuss the uh, generation of a heat domes. Heat domes. Okay. And uh, kya hai? Uh, give examples from regions which have witnessed heat domes recently. Give examples uh, from regions uh, experiencing experiencing heat domes. Heat domes recently. Okay. So, uh, California mein hua hai. We've had this in Canada also. Okay. Strong heat waves rahe hai. Yes. Canadian Shield region, Californian region, the western coast of Pacific of North America. In areas where they've had heat domes. Like heat dome phenomena, I think, no, 2019 May, it was also in uh, Southern Europe. Uh, Southern Europe, uh, parts of France, uh, uh, parts of uh, uh, France, Italy has witnessed this. Italy has witnessed this. Southern Europe, France, Paris, Paris was crazy hot. Uh, 2019, the heat dome phenomena. Uh, we also had, I think, 2016 May, it was London. It's called as the London heat. Like a massive uh, heating of uh, these cities. Unlike, I mean, they literally went crazy. I know these areas, they do not have uh, air conditioners uh, uh, for uh, uh, cooling. Their air conditioners are for warming. Okay, and no fan. Okay, I mean, they literally were roasting because of this. Okay, okay, you know the context now. Okay, Achha, by the way, one, one suggestion to all of you. Deko, these questions may not be asked like this. Okay, but remember that any question on climate change, any questions related to maybe urban problems, any questions related to monsoon disruption, yes, Sarah, you add kar sakte ho. So if I have a question around monsoon disruption, I can add a small paragraph on the cloudburst in India. Or maybe uh, discuss the vulnerability because of climate change. I can add a paragraph or two on this heat dome phenomena of North America and Western Europe. So this is the smartness, all of you. Even if the same question is not asked, you should be ready to use it in some related uh, questions beyond what, what uh, your uh, uh, syllabus demands. So let's start off with this. Okay. Now see, to so heat dome kya hai? Okay, I'll just explain quickly. What is a heat dome? So heat dome ka five elements hai. Okay, remember this, aapko yaad rahe jayega. Five, achha, ye phenomena, what is it? What is it? So five elements. What is it is, it's a high okay, uh, temperatures, this is uh, persistent uh, temperatures, persistently high temperatures. This is a uh, 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 regional and a uh, 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 local uh, phenomena. It is associated with upper tropospheric winds and high pressure uh, conditions, high pressure conditions. And these are mostly related to dry heat. These are four elements. Hai. Okay. That high temperature hoga, high temperature, temperature average uh, can be uh, more than uh, three to five degrees above normal. That's a very strong heat. Okay. In fact, uh, uh, there are moments when Canada was witnessing uh, temperatures of almost uh, seven, eight degrees above the normal and persistent temperatures for almost uh, five uh, to six days. It can last for uh, one uh, a week also. It's a persistent high temperature, five, six days to one week. It's a regional and a local phenomena. So this is, this is actually abnormal. This is not what, it sh what should happen. Abnormal, hai. Eh? Related to upper tropospheric winds and high pressure conditions. Plus, there is dry heat. There is dry heat. Okay, this is the uh, what aspect. 
Okay, now in terms of why do we have it? Why do we have it? Why me kya hai? Okay, so it is warm ocean air, warm ocean air influx, influx that uh, gets trapped, that gets trapped in atmospheric high pressure conditions in atmospheric high pressure conditions it's a warm ocean air influx okay that gets trapped in atmospheric high pressure conditions high pressure conditions second is jo isobaric isobaric okay condition hai Okay, this is also referred to as anybody knows the term the isobaric condition hai. What is it referred to as? It's referred to as omega blocking. Remember this is referred to as omega blocking. Because why? It's a high pressure hai, the high pressure, it looks like this. Aise hoga high pressure. This is the typical uh, letter, omega letter. This is high pressure. Okay. You go out progressively low pressure. So in those uh, you know, languages, this is the omega. So omega blocking Q both name. Why? Because the isobars, iso, isobars uh, develop, develop uh, strong anti-cyclones. Strong, strong anti-cyclones conditions. Conditions in uh, a form of omega loop in shape. Omega loop in shape. That's why asobaric conditions ko omega blocking bhi bolte. It's also called as omega blocking. Okay. And third, the third is the high pressure. The high pressure and uh, uh, descending winds. Descending winds further warm the air further warm the air this is what is the adiabatic warming ye team conditions ke wajah se we have this okay, heat dome warm air from the ocean in flux in in the mid latitudes uh, this is in this is in uh, the westerly wind belt. Okay, so from the Pacific Ocean, the air from the Pacific Ocean into the Western uh, North America or from Atlantic into the Western Europe. The warm air influx that gets trapped in atmospheric high pressure conditions or the atmospheric high pressure jo hai, that is an isobaric conditions called as omega blocking called as omega blocking. Why omega blocking? Why? The isobars, okay, jo, jo, jo trends hai, they are strong. Isobars are a strong anticyclone condition in the form of, okay, a loop. A loop that is omega in shape. That's why it's called as the omega blocking. And finally, I said, the high pressure and the descending winds, the air aapka push descending winds, further warm the air, Okay, resulting in adiabatic warming. So, adiabatic warming. I think this is okay till here, all of you. It may be your answer, more or less. You don't need to know more than this. So, the diagram you can draw is there. I'll show the diagram to you. This is the surface here. This is the air pressure. Air is sinking, air is sinking, air is sinking, air is sinking. Okay, so this is the influx of the warm air. Okay, so this is the influx of the warm air. So influx, influx of, uh, of warm air. This is uh, a descending uh, winds uh, because of the high pressure, because of high pressure conditions, descending winds. Eh? Okay, and the descending winds will uh, of further warm up, will further, further warm up because of adia 
batic worm okay the point here is that the worm air gets trapped it gets a trapped in uh, a stationary in a stationary high pressure conditions the stationary high pressure conditions that's all if you have this much is done so look at the uh, model answer uh, not more than two pages okay all of you you'll have to uh, learn to uh, develop those kind uh, he domes uh, so he domes generated when atmosphere traps uh, hot ocean air like a lid okay it becomes a mountain of warm air built in wavy jet streams associated hai the ocean conditions related hai okay uh, and how does the wind come in ye westerlies se aate hain and also by the jet streams okay they they pull the winds from the pacific ocean atlantic ocean okay they they pinch off uh, they get stalled stall ka matlab hai they are blocked there they get they get stalled or stuck okay typically okay uh so then we have rising temperature hotter air heat waves okay heat waves affected uh, 25% more land in northern hemisphere so pacific northwest mein hai historic this one so something in california portland region in us okay 46 degrees after 1981 it's called as the omega block because it looks like the greek letter omega also in california witnessing heat domes okay so heat waves are becoming more common today because of climate change that's all okay so jaldi se do page ke andar mein with some diagrams okay this this is uh, this is the location that it shows okay so sorry, this is the heat dome it shows a dome here okay so sinking air here so because of compression this is the adiabatic compression and we can have uh, heat strokes wildfire so californian fires are partly because of this uh, these are more localized okay uh, localized uh, not in terms of a small city alone it can be a bit more bigger than that so i have not come across any size of the area so i can't comment just keep it as a city keep it as uh, parts of california dekhna padega what size it is so you know about californian forest fires no so these uh, heat domes added to the forest fires of california of course uh, uh, california has a, a longer history of vandalism in forest fires but theek hai this is one uh, uh, conclusion take it towards the consequence no consequence forest fires uh, heat waves Uh, you can talk about the problems uh, 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 because of climate change again example of uh, extreme events bas theek hai do line mein khatam karo